What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel total technology zone this is tutorial 8 and today's topic will be how to use llama index and langchain together right so this is Lang uh, llama index series and in this tutorial I will see how to use langchain with llama index okay this is going to be a very fun tutorial and I'm doing this tutorial because I got some requests that is there any way or is there any use case where llama index and langchain actually working together so this is a tutorial i'll be going to actually do this thing hopefully you guys will enjoy okay so before i uh, start the actual tutorial i would like to uh, ask for some request one request is actually if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel hit the like button share our videos with your family and friend and try to hit the bell notification icon so that you should not miss any uh, of our future updates and if you are existing um, viewer but you haven't subscribed yet then please go ahead and subscribe to my channel you will learn a lot and the last thing is actually you have to uh, if you are planning to learn large language model development LLM, LLM related thing or maybe your objective is actually to become an uh, engineer on the domain of artificial intelligence then please go ahead with my channel uh, playlist um, and search for Langchain tutorial they will find I uh, have created complete series on Langchain. Basically, it is beginner friendly, but if your objective is actually to become expert, then this playlist will help you. In that playlist, I have total 102 videos. So you can understand 102 videos are more than enough for uh, start uh, everything from the scratch, okay? So please subscribe to my channel and help me to grow because your one subscription will help me to grow big time. So that is I'm asking um, many times for subscription because once you start subscribing to my channel YouTube will also start promoting my videos to the uh, large number of audience so I just need the uh, I just need some push from YouTube algorithm so that I can reach a large number of uh, like audience organically so please help me to grow and I'll promise I'll come back with um, very interesting and tutorial topics again and again so without wasting much time let me start working with the tutorial so in this tutorial I'll do LLM with uh, module from Langchain. So though my objective is actually using Lama index and I said I'll be going to use some yeah I'm going to create some use case with Langchain. So in this tutorial what I'll do I'll be going to use the LLM module from Langchain. So use Langchain OpenAI module right. So this is a tutorial link so without wasting much time let's start actually working on this thing okay. So if you see here I have already created a diction uh, uh, folder inside the folder I have a I have an article written on computer science and digital data structure and algorithm. I'll be going to actually create a vector index with that document, right? So let's start actually writing our code. So first thing first, uh, so first thing first, it will be from llama llama index dot core, right? Import uh, import it will be a vector store index and simple directory reader right this is the llama index module and as i said i'll be going to use langchain module so it will be from uh, langchain open ai import chat open ai right and then i'll be just going to set the llm so it is going to be llm equals to like chat open ai right then i'll just write uh, model equals to gpt-4 omni model that's it done now what is actually going to happen documents so i'll be just going to load the document the document is actually going to come from this directory right so what i'll do a simple directory reader so inside the simple directory reader i'll be just going to write the directory name my directory name is data and after that i'll be just going to write load data so load data so everything is loaded just to make sure everything is loaded i will just try to create a kind of a debug but this is not debug just to actually check whether it is able to load everything or not just the moment i hit documents it is going to print everything from this text file okay so let's see okay okay so this is um, this is done this is done okay so i need to just remove this part now we're just going to create an index right so index equals to uh, vector stored index dot from documents and inside that i'll be just going to pass this documents and llm is actually going to be llm right llm is llm now next thing is what now i'll be going to create an query engine 
so query query underscore engine equals to index index dot as query engine right so query engine is created now what will happen we'll be just going to create a uh, response variable okay very simple and straightforward so response response is actually going to be query engine dot query right and inside that i'll be just going to ask my question right and last thing last i'll be just going to print the response that's it i hope this is going to be very interesting so what i'll do let me first clear everything here right and i will not be going to create any question i have already created some question i'll be going to ask but if you want you can test this thing by your own question okay so what are the difference between mars sort and quick sort in what scenarios would be preferred over other right so so let's ask this question here okay this is the first question and let's see how they are going to reply okay yeah just because the document length is actually a little bit uh, document length is actually bigger so that is why it is taking time and i have asked also some critical question you see it is actually able to generate the answer so it is very correct answer if you see here just try to read this thing and meanwhile what i will do i'll just try to actually get some question from here okay so let's copy this question from here copy and after that i'll be just going to delete this thing and paste this thing here okay so let me delete and paste this thing here okay so what will happen this is going to write the second answer as well okay so how does dextras algorithm ensure the shortest path in a weighted graph and what are what are its uh, time complexity and practical application okay so it is able to generate everything see okay so now let's question is actually okay let me copy let me go here okay let me delete everything okay and i believe i have to put the double quote so this is my last question and after that i'll just stop the video over here because there is no point of uh, checking all question because the tutorial is completed and you guys can create a similar use case by your own right so if you see here i'm just using uh, integration framework for llama index and i'm using llm from langchain this is super easy right okay so this is the last question so if, if you see here it is actually able to generate the answer okay so my objective is actually completed and whatever you guys requested i have actually uh, created the tutorial you asked for this video that uh, uh, what could be the use case where langchain and llama index can work together so guys this is the tutorial where actually you can use langchain and llama index together so you can uh, call it in a different way like if you want to use uh, integration module from langchain and you want to use llm from llama index the other ways or the vice versa of this thing that is also possible here actually i'm using induction uh, sorry integration framework is actually uh, for llama index and llm i'm using actually for langchain you can do the uh, 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 the reverse of this thing like you can use the simple directory loader from Langchain and you can use the OpenAI um, LLM module from Lama Index, you can still achieve the same tutorial, or sorry, same use case, right? Okay, so with that note, I'll be just going to conclude and end the video over here. But before I end, I'll be going to request one more time. Guys, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and share my, share my videos actually with your family and friend. Actually, as much as you possible, please try to share my videos so that I will get a lot, lot of uh, like, uh, uh, quite a lot of like um, responses and reach right so please help me to reach large number of audience and i am promising uh, you guys again that i'll come back with uh, very interesting and uh, exciting tutorial in my next video okay so with that note i'll be just going to conclude over here we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye have a nice day and happy learning